NFLs. Five and a half sacks. He had over a du over in double digits for his career in the sacks category. Very easy guy to root for. Very popular guy in the locker room. Very popular guy in his football team. Team captain. And he'll be missed. But we certainly wish him well. We thank him for all of the work and effort that he put in in his four years as a Cornhusker to just fight his tail off for this football team. Kind of started to get the feeling a week or two ago that this may be where Garrett was headed. He'd been very quiet since the announcement of the hiring of Matt Rule. And so you kind of had a feeling like maybe he was ready to try his hand at professional football. And I cannot blame him for doing that at all and certainly wish him nothing but the best of luck. So really, really happy for Garrett. Sad that we don't get another year of him in the scarlet and cream, but I get it. I totally get it with Garrett Nelson and wish him nothing but uh, the best. Announcement that came after our last live show on Thursday, and it's a big one, and that is the transfer portal edition of Ben Scott. The young man who this past year was the starting center at Arizona State coming to, and choosing Nebraska. He was down to Nebraska, Auburn, and Oregon. And I, my gut was telling me last week he wasn't coming here. So I'm glad my gut was wrong because I think this is a great addition to the Husker football team and for Donovan Rayola in that offensive line room. We were kind of wondering about the center position where this might go. And my goodness, I think that's been solved. Ben Scott, a starter at the Pac-12 level. He's got the frame. He's got the body. Said he really bonded with Donovan Rayola on his visit here, and that was a huge selling point. That and that there was not an incumbent center coming back for his football team. Those were very attractive for him. Folks, this is big. This is a big announcement that, that Ben Scott is going to be a Cornhusker moving forward next year. Uh, this, this fills a large hole in the middle of that offensive line. And, I, I, hey, I know it, and this, columns have been written about it since the press conference with Coach Rural last Wednesday where somebody said, you know, the offensive line was a weakness. And he said, no, 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 I'm, I, I don't accept that. I don't accept that everybody says the offensive line was a weakness. And now you start going, okay, you add Ben Scott to the mix. You get Nuri back from his suspension by the NCAA. There's a starting guard that Nebraska did not have this year. You get Teddy Prohaska healed up and ready. You bring back... Corcoran and Ben Hart and Piper and you start to piece this together and I think you know Matt Rule's an old offensive line coach folks he's, he's going to have his hands in that room quite a bit uh, you know yes Donovan Rayola is going to be the offensive line coach but coach Rule that's a big part of what he wants he and he has talked about it at the two open mic sessions that he had the day that he got hired and the press conference last week he talked a lot about winning the line of scrimmage and playing in bad weather in November in the Big Ten Conference and how you better be ready to do that. And so I, 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 think, I think there's some really good mojo going with that group. And again, Matt Rule, because that's kind of his background, he's going to have a hand in that offensive line. So getting Ben Scott, and that happened on, thir on Friday. Or again, our last show was on Thursday. So I did want to mention that, that Ben Scott uh, now going to be a Cornhusker um, Moving forward, that's a big get. He'll be here in January. He'll be here for spring ball. That is, uh, that's, that's key. All right, shifting gears to a different Husker sport and a transfer portal. This also dropped on Friday as John Cook's volleyball program has acquired a Florida transfer, Merritt Beeson, a 6'3 outside hitter, going to join the Huskers in January. She played her first two years of college eligibility for the Gators. She was all SEC, an AVCA, all Southeast region honoree this past year. She was an all SEC freshman team member in 2021. She played on the same uh, U21 national team with Becca Alec and Lexi Rodriguez. So there's some familiarity with a couple of Huskers players uh, that she will be coming out. She... Uh, was not recruited by Nebraska out of high school. And I guess she kidded some of the Husker coaches when she came on her visit saying, how, how come I didn't get recruited? I'm on the same U21 team with, with Lexi and, and Becca. Where, why wasn't I looked at? But uh, she came on a visit a few weeks ago, loved it. She is a six-rotation player, and that means she doesn't usually come out of the games. She can serve. She can play in the back line. So that's, that's you know, Maddie Kubik was a six-rotation player. 
So in a way, Merritt, I love that name, by the way, Merritt Beeson, is going to be able to plug that hole of Matty Kubik moving forward. John Cook's quote was, and this, this raised eyebrows with a lot of people, quote, our roster has been undergoing some adjustments since the season ended, and last week we had an opportunity to recruit Merritt to Nebraska. I uh, had a chance to watch her play alongside Becca and Lexi on the U.S. U-21 national team and called Jalen Reyes and said, Jalen, how come we didn't recruit this player? She's fantastic. Uh, so they brought her in for a visit. She had a great connection when she was here on the visit, and uh, she now is a Cornhusker, also will be here in January. So she'll be able to go through the beach season and then also through the spring season with that one spring match in Nebraska always gets to play. Uh, so Merritt Beeson, another addition to the Nebraska program. And also the quote with John Cook saying, our roster has been undergoing some adjustments. He did not elaborate, or elaborate on that, but I think there's some movement coming with Nebraska's volleyball roster moving forward. We'll stay all over it when that becomes uh, announced. We'll certainly bring that up as a topic. But big additions on Friday for both Matt Rural with Ben Scott, the transfer from Arizona State, and for John Cook getting Merritt Beeson, a transfer from the Florida Gator program to come into uh, this this. Uh, this, this Husker volleyball program. Big, big news right there. All right, 402-413-2400. That's the number to call. That's the number to text. Jessica off enjoying some well-deserved downtime. She will be back next week, but we're because tonight was her only show, I uh, certainly wanted her to take full advantage of some downtime on the program. If you want to be a part of it, again, 402-413-2400. The Sports Sunday Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime. They have 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned. You can always find what you're looking for with Woodhouse. Four bowl games today, including later tonight, the first Big Ten team will take the field. The Wisconsin Badgers out in Phoenix getting ready to, to uh, battle the Oklahoma State Cowboys. So it's a Big 12, Big 10 matchup later tonight. That'll be the last game of the day. For those of you in our YouTube chat room, and I see you in there tonight, uh, you still have time to get your bowl picks in because we haven't had any of our games that we picked that have been played. That changes tonight, though, because Wisconsin is the first one we picked. So get crypto those bowl picks if you want to be a part of uh, their bowl uh, picks that they have a good time with inside the YouTube chat room. Uh, you still have a couple hours. That game doesn't kick off until after 9 o'clock tonight. It's going to be late night. I'm going to have to stay up late tonight, watch a little college football, maybe up until midnight. So uh, it's going to be a, a late, late night here on the program. Uh, also, coming up again, Hour number two, Amy Williams will stop by. We'll get a quick chat with her. They play Michigan tomorrow night. And we'll also hear from Terrence Knighton, the new defensive line coach for the Cornhuskers, as he is going to be uh, taking over that offensive front for the Cornhuskers. And some, some portal additions there with the Judy young man coming from Texas A&M. That's going to be a big help. Uh, Nebraska has filed a petition to try to get an extra year for Colton Feast. He would like to come back. We need a six-year eligibility, so... Uh, Certainly uh, going to look forward to hearing from Terrence coming up here in hour number two. Coming up next, Ed Foley, Husker special teams coach, will join the program. We'll talk about his background and his long history with Matt Rural, Nebraska's new football coach. That's coming up next. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm student government president Jake Drake with Campus News. Nebraska has the most technically advanced buildings in the Big Ten, according to an annual review of universities across the country. Nebraska has also saved over $85 million over the past 17 years by making long-term investments in clean, reliable energy sources, cutting-edge automation, and collaborations across campus. Greatness doesn't happen overnight. It takes time. Focus and dedication. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that because we put in the hard work and dedication for decades. And that commitment has paid off with award-winning customer service for your auto, home, and life insurance. Visit shelterinsurance.com and find an agent to help you choose the coverage you need. Shelter Insurance. We're your shield. We are your shelter. Find your next truck at Woodhouse Buick GMC. No matter where you're heading or what tasks need tackling, there's a premium and capable GMC truck that's perfect for you. Make a statement on the job site. 
out on the town, or wherever life leads you in the powerful and distinctive Sierra 1500, or elevate your driving experience in the adventurous and innovative canyon. Explore our inventory online at WoodhouseBuickGMC.com or visit our indoor showroom today. Woodhouse Buick GMC, we are professional grade. Families who travel to Nebraska's only Ronald McDonald House are facing extremely uncomfortable situations. Their child is sick in an unfamiliar city, unsure of how to handle it all. But when they walk in the Ronald McDonald House, they can find comfort in the little things. A quiet moment away from the bombardment of beeps and buzzes in a hospital room. The taste of a home-cooked meal. A common voice saying it'll be okay. Help us provide the little things that make a big difference. Support a one-night stay for a family in need by visiting rmhcomaha.org slash Huskers. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset. Day by day, donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker Athletics excel at the highest level. Go big and join thousands of other Huskers Athletic Fund members with your gift today at huskers.com slash donate. Does your business need quick, competitive financing for heavy machinery, trucks, or other equipment? Currency is here to help. Whether you're financing construction equipment, farm equipment, trucks, trailers, or any other big ticket item, Currency will automatically find the best rates. Currency facilitates loans for up to $500,000 with repayment terms up to 72 months. It's fast, easy, and free to use. Visit GoCurrency.com and apply today. More Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic care first. Studies show that chiropractic is safe, drug-free, and the most effective treatment option for back, neck, and joint pain. It can also help patients of all ages reduce migraines, improve mobility, and maximize athletic performance. Keep the entire family healthy and active with natural, cost-effective chiropractic care. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Do you want your date to wait for your interlock device to let you drive? Your kids to ask why you have an ankle bracelet? Or your boss to see your criminal history? Do you want to miss important life events because of house arrest? Get a ride. A DUI costs more than you think. Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exists to be there with you. They are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. That's why Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska is proud to sponsor Touchdowns for Teachers and ask Husker fans to nominate outstanding educators who help Nebraska students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash touchdowns for teachers. It's harvest special time, and you can save $3 per foot or $3,900 per quarter mile system now on a TNL pivot system. Pivots worked long hours this season battling dry weather to save top dollar corn and soybean crops. But did your pivots work like no other? If not, it's time to invest in a reliable, safe, low maintenance TNL irrigation system. Hydrostatic drives move these durable workhorses continuously across fields. So get an irrigation system that works as hard as you do. Contact TNL Irrigation, your local TNL dealer, or visit us online at TLIRR.com. TNL Irrigation Systems like no other. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center. It is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. We are delighted to be joined tonight by Nebraska's new special teams coordinator, Ed Foley. Welcome to Nebraska. Welcome to Lincoln. Great to be here. Why did this make sense for you? Well, it made sense because we have um, a series of people that have worked together and have yeah. done this before. And... Um, so we kind of know what we're doing, or we have, we, at least we think we do. Um, so when Coach was looking at the different opportunities... Uh, just, and there were, and, there were multiple opportunities. Yes, and, but, it, but, but it, I, to be honest with you, personally, I was hoping for Nebraska, um, and I was very happy to find out that that happened. But, but, but you know, we were looking to see what he was going to do, and then when he said, hey, we know we want you to come, and we said, okay, let's go, let's do it. How did you two first connect? 
We were assistant coaches under Al Golden in 2008. For 2008, 2009, 2010, we worked for Al Golden um, at, at, uh, at Temple. Yeah. So, so Matt was the offensive coordinator, and I was the tight end coach and the, the recruiting coordinator. So that's when we first started working together. And then uh, after that, we both worked for Steve Adazio for a year. And then Matt went to the NFL, went to the Giants, and then came back as the head coach. And then I was still there. And then whatever, I just stayed as the tight end coach, became the special teams coordinator at that point. And then we've been together ever since. I didn't go with him initially to, uh, on the first trip to Baylor. Uh, I stayed and worked for Jeff Collins. And then, and then he asked me to come down a couple years later, and it was the right situation for us. So we went down. I, you know, you know I, didn't want, I wasn't interested in the rebuild part of that Baylor trip. I just wanted to get it. Uh, and, and the team that was, had the, kind of turned the corner already, so I just jumped in there for the Sugar Bowl year and then... <laughs> And then ran over to the uh, to the Panthers with him, and and uh, and so we've been together since 2008. Other than those two years, so Baylor. the train was speeding down the track when you jumped on board. Yes, in, in Baylor. Waco. Yes, yeah. in Waco. Yes. Um, what What's the last month been like for you? Uh, the last month has been a little a little bit hectic. I, I actually, you know. Um, after getting released from from my contract with with the Panthers, uh, I was able to relax. I, I, I was uh, able to just sit back and spend some time with the family. And I just said, I'm not going to worry about the next move. It's you know I think something's going to happen. Um, and, and I felt like it was almost like a clean slate. Like the family could sit back and say, like, what do you think? Do you want to do you want to do this? Do you want to go with Coach Rule? Do you want to um, you know look at another NFL job? Do you? And it really gave us time as a family to kind of have some discussions and talk about some of those things. And it also gave us some time as a family just to relax. Now, I'm a Philadelphia guy by nature, and it just so happened to coincide with a Philadelphia Phillies uh, World Series run, which was very convenient. So I went to uh, game, game five of the NLCS, and I was at the, in the, at the World Series uh, game, took my son to the World Series game. Uh, as a family, we went to the um, to a Wake, I got some friends at Wake Forest, went to a Wake Forest, North Carolina game. We went to see Coach Satterfield down at um, South Carolina, so we went to see the South Carolina Tennessee game. So uh, we, we saw some great football. We saw in those two uh, college football games in the in the North Carolina area, we saw about 200 points scored in two games, and uh, fantastic. But they were family activities, so I really just said, let me you know enjoy uh, some family time here and. Um, you know, and, and we did that, and then, and then, you know, at some point, Matt said, "Hey, you know, what do you think?" And you know, I'm looking at a couple jobs. You, you want to try to do this? I said, "Yeah, and we're 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 all in." And and when I when I said we were all in with Matt. You know, we had already talked as a family about options, about like you know just staying in Charlotte because the kids were going to school there, or moving back to the Philadelphia area, or joining Matt. It was it was great because when the families are because our families have known each other for so long, um, as we are, as we are as we're close with the Satterfield family all, and the Cooper family and some of these other families. So it was like, you know, my, my kids want to know well who's going, you know, and and like where's Matt going? Where's he going? Like it was it was it's beyond just the you know like I, I don't know about that area of the country. It was kind of like you know we're moving the caravan out there and you know and let's go so they were great honestly coach i thought the phillies were dead in water in mid-september yeah and then boom it's amazing it's amazing how you catch it you catch it and you get hot going in and i don't know there's really nothing like the city of philadelphia um when when, the, when there's a playoff team and they might have a super bowl team too the eagles yeah right? that, that, that's i mean that would just turn the place upside Ooh. down because there's a lot of i mean the phillies fans were were out in mass and they were going crazy but the eagles fans are there's nothing like the eagles fans i wouldn't even take my kids to an eagles game when they were young i mean it's the crowd is that crazy so uh you know eventually we we, we, we all went to the uh, my sons and i went to the um the uh, the uh, championship game when they beat the Vikings to go to the Super Bowl. So we were at that game and it was a uh, it was a crazy night. But we we are we're Philadelphia fans through and through. But it, it was a great run this year. Sure was. Again, busy with Ed Foley, new special teams coordinator for the Huskers. Let's talk special teams a little bit. What's your philosophy? I mean, how do you approach that? Uh, my approach with special teams, and, and it's great to be working with Coach because we've been doing this for a while. Because uh, you can't do any of this without the blessing of the head coach. But we want to be. We want to be very aggressive. We want to be fast. We want to be physical, uh, and we want to be simple so that the kids can play. So that we identify the kids that we want to play on the units and keep things simple so that they can have the opportunity to go make plays. And then we can just judge them based upon effort and are they in the right place and are they using the right technique. And we're not going to try to out scheme anybody with what we're doing. We're just going to try to play really fast and really aggressive. Will he allow? 
first teamers to play on the units? Yeah, yes, in the past we've been able to do that, and uh, you know, prim primarily with the with the coverage units, with the punt team uh, and, and the kickoff team. So, like over the years, you know, at Temple and at Baylor, we we would use some of our starters to to play in, in the punt protection, then cover the punts, and then not so much as as the first in guys on the kickoff, but as the safeties. But yes, you know, he's been able to. And now, not we're not going to use him for four teams, especially guys that are playing every play. Um, but you, you know, c coach likes to play a lot of guys on defense, and I haven't worked with Tony White before, but you know. A lot of times now you're, you're nickel substitutions, you have dime substitutions, you have personnel groups, you're playing guys. If guys are rolling through, um, you know, we're going to try to maximize uh, the people that we can. We're, we're going to get the best people for the job um, within the whole 150 guys on the team to, to do the jobs that we need them to do. Um, the selection process will be interesting because I don't know the players that well, but I've watched all the film already, and, you know, there's a lot of guys that play really hard. So we're going to get them to continue to play really hard um, and then just try to play really smart and really hard and keep it simple. Have you been able to meet any of the specialists in your short time? Yes, we, I met with a specialist before I left. I had them all come up and say hello. So, you know, I got to say hello with them and, and you know, just shake their hand and then I saw them once I saw them about two times because I'm on the road recruiting but I saw them right before finals so I got to say goodbye to a couple of them uh, before they left for finals and so I have met them and I've watched you know watched the film like I said but um, I, I think it's a good group a anxious to probably get in rooms with them right and get them on the field and do all that stuff yeah I I'm interested well I, I to be honest with you I'm interested to see the competitive side uh, we're gonna do some things in the off-season program to kind of see how competitive they are that's my that's what I'm most excited about most excited to get them back here and um, you know watching them in the workouts I want to see who, who's going to compete and I, you know I'll, I'll certainly have a notepad and out there taking down guys names and seeing who's you know who's got enough uh, gifts in terms of movement skills but also who's trying to win because I think special teams is about winning winning the rep it's about like okay uh, you know here's the punt team versus the punt return team you got to protect against your man. He can't block the punt, and then you got to run down and make the tackle and beat the guy that's trying to block you. So there's some technique that's involved in that, but there's a lot of desire in that part of it, and, and I believe that, and I think that we're going to see some of that in the off-season workouts. That's what I'm looking most forward to. Very good. Well, it's people are excited. They're they're pumped up to see you guys here. You're undefeated, and that helps yes. right now. But there's a lot of work still to be done. Yeah, there's, there is, um, and, and it's really the, what you have to do is not look too far ahead, or at least for me personally. Like, I can't, I can't look at, um, you know, what the starting punt team's going to be like or what kind of kickoff returns we're going to run. I've got to recruit today. Like, today the most important thing is to recruit. And I'm going to really focus on the next few days on getting around my family when I fly home and being <laughs> a great father because I haven't seen my children a whole lot as much as I'd like to. So I'm going to do that. And then when we come back, we'll take, you know, we'll take the next job on. But I'm going to try to segment things and one one of the to me one of the great things about coaching uh, football at the college level is it, it's a lot of work but there's different challenges throughout the year so you have the season and the season's awesome because you get to play games and you get to compete and then you get to recruit which is something that we all let you had and you, we all like to do it but you we all you got to do it you got to be great at it you got to be relentless with it so and then when that winds down you get into the research and development where you figure out like kind of what you're going to do and what's going on in terms of schemes. Uh, then you have spring ball to test some of that stuff out. Then you go into, into spring recruiting and then you go into camp season. So there's like five or six different challenges um, throughout the course of the year. Now you have to recruit year round, but what's right in front of you from a day to day changes. And, and, I, and I, I personally love that change of stimulus. And, um, you know, I, I think that here, I think Coach Rule does a great job with, um, you know, keeping, the, keeping us on uh, task, being task managers. But uh, it's going to be great here. Excited to be coaching in the Big Ten? Yes, very excited. Uh, and there's some really good special teams units in the, in the Big Ten. And uh, like I was talking earlier about competition, um, I, I want the best. We want the best. Like our, I, I want to get our guys to say, you know, we're going we're gonna to be the best and then we're going to beat the best in order to, to, to become the best, to become the, the top kickoff return team in the conference. We've got to return it versus some really good kickoff coverage units. So uh, in order to do that, we, we, want, we want the best. And then if there's a number one team out there in the country, I hope we play them and, and, and I hope that we beat them. But we're going to compete and we're going uh, uh, to accept and embrace that challenge. Great to have you here. Husker Nation is excited. Can't wait to see this thing get going in spring ball. Thank you. Ed Foley with us here on the show. Hey, buckle up, folks. Put that phone down. It's a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. More of the show coming up. Can you name one thing that's more exciting than football in Nebraska? <laughs> okay, maybe not. But there's something that comes close. 
scratch tickets from the Nebraska Lottery. That's right. Choose from a variety of play styles with huge top prizes. There's something fun for everyone. So, when football isn't on, pick up some scratch tickets from the Nebraska Lottery. Play is good. Go play. Odds vary by game. Touchdown, Nebraska! If you're doing business in Nebraska, the best way to connect your organization with the excitement surrounding the Huskers is through a partnership with Nebraska Athletics. You can take your business to the next level by reaching loyal Husker fans through in-venue signage, digital and social media, radio advertising, and more. Got it! Join the Husker team today and email partners at huskers.com to learn more about opportunities to connect with Husker Nation. That's partners at huskers.com. While some seed companies put a greater stake in stock prices and anonymous shareholders, Rob Seco knows that what's important to you hits closer to home. That's why you'll find we're focused on your needs. With a simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, a relationship that makes it easy to connect with anyone in the company, and the technology, traits, and genetics you need from any source. Put your stock in the company that puts you first. Rob Seco. It's time for some Nebraska farm facts. Want to know a fast way to rev up our Nebraska economy while helping the planet? It's right in your tank. When you fill up with clean soy-based biodiesel, you're increasing Nebraska biodiesel production while reducing greenhouse gases by up to 74%. So look for biodiesel where you fill up. It benefits our air, our economy, and our farmers. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he is so cold. The furnace is out again. SOS, he screams, and calls SOS Heating and Cooling, his favorite Luxair dealer trusted since 1950. With Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. SOS Heating and Cooling. SOS to the rescue. SOS, SOS. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Dear gas prices, go take a hike. Toyota is the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. The Toyota Hybrid lineup brings efficiency with power, savings with style, and top-notch tech to keep you connected. Not to mention plush premium interiors and the most advanced Toyota safety features. So, now you know who you're talking to. Toyota, the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. Toyota. The brand with a hybrid or electric vehicle for every driver. Toyota, the brand that helps save you money at the pump. Now, let me ask you a question, dear gas prices. You really think you can stand in the way of the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years? <laughs> think again. Toyota Hybrids. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Based on manufacturer estimates, CY2000 through 2021 sales. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. 
We're back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center. It is sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp back with you. It is a Tuesday night, our only live show of the week. Women's basketball tomorrow night. In fact, Amy Williams will be with us in hour number two for a segment. Men's basketball Thursday, big one with Iowa. Both men and women. Men, women have Michigan tomorrow. Men have Iowa Thursday. And then we'll have an encore show for you on Friday night leading into another holiday weekend. So that's our uh, what we have coming up here in the next few days. Hey, buckle up, folks. Put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Well, in this Christmas season, holiday season, there are a couple of really cool uh, feel-good stories that involve Huskers. I'm going to tell you about one that has not gotten a whole lot of play. Uh, Courtney Lures and her son, 17-year-old Ethan, live in Torrance, California. Lures is a single mom, full-time student working toward an associate degree in cyber security. She reluctantly asked for some help before Christmas with a post on the Nextdoor app. A lot of you probably have that if you live in a neighborhood. The Nextdoor app serving her neighborhood in, uh, in California. Ann Odell saw the post and her family decided that they wanted to adopt Courtney and her son. The first thing Lures texted uh, was texted by Odell said, uh, what, what, what can you get? Give me some things on your wish list. We'll try to make these things happen. And the mom said, Ethan says all he wants is signed Christmas cards. It's just the two of us. And so I'm thinking to him that symbolizes family. Ethan wants Christmas cards to have displayed that would make for a great Christmas. That's all he is asking for. And that she mentioned he's a big fan of the NFL. So Odell and her family filled the base of the Christmas tree with some gifts. They said, no, we're going to do more than just these Christmas cards. And then she said, when she heard that he was a fan of the NFL, she reached out to some PR staffs of the two local teams, the Chargers and the Rams there in Los Angeles, also the 49ers and in-state team. And then she asked Courtney, she said, what's Ethan's favorite team? He said, the Houston Texans. A little odd, right? So she reached out to the PR staff of the Houston Texans. This message came across Everett Gerling's communications desk. So he gets a Christmas card, takes it to the locker room, try to get some of the guys to sign the card to send it back to Ethan for his Christmas celebration. Well, he comes across former Husker Malik Collins. So Malik said, yeah, I'd be glad to sign the card. But Malik said, hey, I, I want to know the story. Who's it for? What's the story? Here's a young guy in California who's a fan of the Houston Texans. Tell me the story. So, Gerlings gets the story and says, well, he's a 17-year-old young guy, single mom, runs the household, doesn't want to put her out because she's working toward a degree, so he didn't want anything to spend any money on him. So Malik said, you know what? I got an idea here. I got an idea. He goes, I'm going to fly them to Houston and bring them to a Texan game. And so that got done. They put the two people together, they set up a face, uh, FaceTime call between Malik and Courtney and Ethan on Friday night. Malik introduced himself. Ethan started crying when he saw Malik Collins on the FaceTime, while Courtney kept saying, what is this? Or this cannot be for real. And Malik said, no, I'm going to fly you to, to Houston. And um, the mom happens to have grown up in Houston, so she's got family members there. Uh, so she fl they fly in, they get a chance to meet Malik before the game. He sets a tour of the stadium for them before the game and uh, sets them up and makes sure they're taken care of for the Houston Texans game. Now that, folks, is the Christmas spirit. How amazing is that? And that does not surprise me, remembering and getting to know Malik during his Husker career here, that he is that kind of a guy. He's playing pretty well for the Texans, who, by the way, are playing some pretty good football right now. I don't know if you noticed, they happen to get a big win over the Titans uh, over the weekend. Uh, they pushed the Chiefs to overtime. They pushed the Cowboys to late in their game. Uh, they've only won twice all year long, but they're playing some pretty good football. But that is a great, great story, and so proud of Malik Collins. Um, and, you know, 
he impacted that family in a huge, huge way. You know, Malik has done really well in the NFL, but he's not a super superstar, but he's had a, a nice lengthy career and playing for the Texans this year. I think he played for the Raiders last year. Uh, signed a pretty good contract with the Raiders as a free agent. I think he's on a one-year deal with the Texans. But that is just a really cool story, and I wanted to pass that along to Husker Nation tonight. I uh, should be really proud of Malik Collins. Pretty cool deal right there. All right, 402-413-2400, the number if you want to be a part of the program. The Tickets Smarter Birmingham Bowl. You've got East Carolina leading Coastal Carolina, 10-7. to 7. That's in Birmingham again later tonight. The first Big Ten team will take the field, the Wisconsin Badgers, without Graham Mertz. Is out of the transfer portal. They'll play the Oklahoma State Cowboys out in Phoenix in the last game of the day. Four, four games of bowl games on ESPN throughout the day today. All right, back with our final segment of Hour One next. Want to get all the latest Husker news straight to your phone? Need to be the first of your friends to get the scoop on all things Huskers? Sign up for text alerts from Nebraska Athletics. Text Huskers to 83200 to get game time notifications and updates, breaking news, special ticket offers, and more straight to your phone. All the Husker news is just a quick text away. Just text Huskers to 83200. Standard text messaging rates apply and may vary by carrier. Does your business need quick, competitive financing for heavy machinery, trucks, or other equipment? Currency is here to help. Whether you're financing construction equipment, farm equipment, trucks, trailers, or any other big ticket item, Currency will automatically find the best rates. Currency facilitates loans for up to $500,000 with repayment terms up to 72 months. It's fast, easy, and free to use. Visit GoCurrency.com and apply today. More Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic care first. Studies show that chiropractic is safe, drug-free, and the most effective treatment option for back, neck, and joint pain. It can also help patients of all ages reduce migraines, improve mobility, and maximize athletic performance. Keep the entire family healthy and active with natural, cost-effective chiropractic care. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Greatness doesn't happen overnight. It takes time, focus, and dedication. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that because we put in the hard work and dedication for decades. And that commitment is paid off with award-winning customer service for your auto, home, and life insurance. Visit shelterinsurance.com and find an agent to help you choose the coverage you need. Shelter Insurance. We're your shield. We are your shelter. Families who travel to Nebraska's only Ronald McDonald House are facing extremely uncomfortable situations. Their child is sick in an unfamiliar city, unsure of how to handle it all. But when they walk in the Ronald McDonald House, they can find comfort in the little things. A quiet moment away from the bombardment of beeps and buzzes in a hospital room. The taste of a home-cooked meal. A common voice saying it'll be okay. Help us provide the little things that make a big difference. Support a one-night stay for a family in need by visiting rmhcomaha.org. Folks, First Interstate Bank built for you. Learn more at www.firstinterstatebank.com. Member FDIC. 402-413-2400. The number to dot us up. With a comment or question, if you want to fire off a text, you can do that as well on our text line. Same number works for the text line. Hope you enjoyed the interview with Ed Foley. Fun guy. Fun guy to be around. Full of energy. I think the players are going to like playing for uh, Coach Foley on that special teams unit. And we know how big a thing that is. And I think Coach Rural realizes how big a thing special teams is as well. So it'll be a big point of emphasis, I think, for the staff moving forward. Well, I mentioned that the bowl season's well underway, but we've not yet seen any of the Big Ten teams play. You've got nine Big Ten teams that have, are in bowl games this year. And this is kind of a conference, this is kind of a time for the conferences to pound their chest a little bit. Conference superiority. You build it in your non-conference games early in the season, and then you get another chance, one more whack at it, in the bowl season. And I, I'm not sure why this stood out to me, but the SEC is 0-2. 
maybe those teams, it just didn't matter to those teams as much. But So the first Big Ten team is tonight, Wisconsin-Oklahoma State. The Badgers actually favored in this game by two and a half. I think it's going to be a low, low-scoring game. You're going to stay up late, folks, but, hey, a lot of you aren't working this week, right? So, I mean, come on. You can stay up, burn that midnight oil, watch game, sleep in tomorrow. Uh, then, no Big Ten teams play tomorrow, Thursday, Minnesota plays in the Pinstripe Bowl. This is the game played at Yankee Stadium. They get Syracuse, who, by the way, Tony White, Nebraska's new defensive coordinator, is here now. He was there all season with the Orange, but now uh, will not be a part of that staff. Uh, the Gophers also favored by 10, double-digit favorites for the Gophers. Then on Friday, another Big Ten team will play. It will be the Duke Mayo Bowl in Charlotte. This will be Maryland and NC State. This is going to be a good football game. This is basically a pick 'em spread in that game. Uh, Maryland seven and five. NC State comes in ranked twenty third, um, eight and four record. Wolfpack are favored by a point. So there of your first three Big Ten bowl games, you got the Big Ten favorite in two of them, and Maryland's is a one point underdog. Saturday, you got a handful of Big Ten teams playing. Iowa, Kentucky will play in the Music City Bowl. Hawkeyes are favored. Interesting, right? Two-point favorite over Kentucky. I did see that the Hawkeyes are in Nashville practicing. They had a practice session yesterday, and they were on a snow, snow-covered snow field. Nashville got a little bit of snow, uh, so it's been chilly. It's supposed to warm up and be better uh, for game. In fact, they're, they're talking about a 60-degree weather for the kickoff, so it'll be nice when they play in Nissan Stadium, home of the Titans, for that game. So 11 a.m. on Saturday, they play Kentucky. 3 o'clock, here we go. Playoff games, TCU-Michigan, uh, Glendale, Arizona, and the Wolverines favored by 7.5. And, and then the night, the nightcap, Buckeyes, Georgia Bulldogs. Georgia is a touchdown favorite over Ohio State, so you got three Big Ten teams Two of them favored on that day. Iowa favored, Michigan favored on that day. Then you jump to next Monday. That's when it's kind of the bulk of a lot of college football games. You've got Illinois playing Mississippi State. Mississippi State now a one-point favorite. This is the old Outback Bowl. It's not called that anymore. It's called the Reliquest Bowl, I think is what it's called now. Uh, Illinois, Chase Brown announced a couple days ago he's opting out. They're terrific running back. He doesn't want to play. He's going to be off to the NFL. So Illinois will not have their top running back for that game. Again, that's basically a pick em spread with the Bulldogs and the Fighting Illini. Also, on January 2nd, you do have the Citrus Bowl, LSU, Purdue. LSU, a big favorite, two touchdown favorite. No Aiden O'Connell. He has opted out to quarterback for the Boilermakers, and they don't have their head coach. Jeff Brom taking the Louisville job a few weeks ago will not be there, so it's an interim staff running the Boilermakers. Could be a long day for Purdue football uh, down in Orlando. And then the granddaddy of them all, the Rose Bowl, Penn State, Utah, matched up. Uh, Utah, two and a half point favorite. I think it's going to be a heck of a game. I think it's going to be a terrific football game next Monday, uh, and that'll be the last. It'll be the last of the nine Big Ten teams to play is Penn State and Utah. Should be a lot of fun, but it's kind of odd. Here we are. We've had bowl games going on for 10, 12 days, and nary of one Big Ten team has played yet. That changes in a couple of hours. 9-15 kick out in uh, Phoenix with Wisconsin and Oklahoma State matched up out there tonight. Uh, mentioned basketball coming your way tomorrow night. Huskers women will take on nationally ranked Michigan, 6 o'clock. Tip, 545 for pregame coverage with Matt Coney, Jeff Grease. The men will then jump back into their play on Thursday night, hosting the Iowa Hawkeyes also a 6 o'clock tip, 5 o'clock for pregame coverage with Kent and Jake on uh, Thursday night. So uh, a lot of basketball headed your way in the next two days. And the women are in a really st- interesting stretch. They played nationally ranked Kansas last week, beat them in triple overtime in a terrific game. Nationally ranked with Michigan tomorrow night. Then on New Year's Day, they're in Bloomington, Indiana to play nationally ranked Indiana. So they're in the midst of playing three straight ranked teams. The men did something similar uh, earlier in December when they had Creighton, Indiana, Purdue in three consecutive games. It's not easy. It's not for the faint of heart uh, playing Big Ten basketball games with some big conference games coming up. Um, Again, Amy Williams coming up in hour number two for a short time with us. Also, we'll hear from Terrence Knight, the defensive line coach for the Big Red. Heard from Ed Foley a little bit ago. Terrence Knight coming up in hour number two. Folks, it's imperative in this bad, bad weather for you to buckle up and put that phone down. That's a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. 
Hope you enjoyed hearing from Ed Foley. Love being able to tell you the Malik Collins story. That is so cool. Art in Los Angeles uh, said, great to hear that story. Uh, makes you proud to be a Husker to hear something like that. Pretty cool thing on that. Also, uh, time to tell you that our Sports Nightly Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime with 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned. You can always find what you are looking for with Woodhouse. On the other side, we'll chat with Amy Williams, Husker women's basketball coach. We'll talk about where we live, that triple overtime win over the Jayhawks. It's coming up next. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he is so cold. The furnace is out again. SOS, he screams, and calls SOS Heating and Cooling, his favorite Luxair dealer trusted since 1950. With Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. SOS Heating and Cooling. SOS to the rescue. SOS, SOS. Dear gas prices, go take a hike. Toyota is the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. The Toyota Hybrid lineup brings efficiency with power, savings with style, and top-notch tech to keep you connected. Not to mention plush premium interiors and the most advanced Toyota safety features. So, now you know who you're talking to. Toyota, the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. Toyota. The brand with a hybrid or electric vehicle for every driver. Toyota, the brand that helps save you money at the pump. Now, let me ask you a question, dear gas prices. You really think you can stand in the way of the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years? <laughs> think again. Toyota Hybrids. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Based on manufacturer resting CY2000 through 2021 sales.
with the GoCurrency.com sports ticker. I'm Tim Mulhaupt on the Huskers Radio Network. Happy Tuesday and happy holidays, Huskers fans. Welcome into another hour of Sports Nightly. Huskers edge rusher Garrett Nelson declared for the NFL Draft today, thanking his coaches, teammates, and Huskers fans in a post on social media. Nelson departs after four quality seasons with the Big Red, culminating this past season with five and a half sacks, nine tackles for loss, and a career-high 65 total tackles. His performance led him to being named to the second-team All-Big Ten. Best of luck to Garrett. In other Huskers news, former Huskers quarterback Tommy Armstrong, Tommy, excuse me, Tommy Armstrong Jr. made headlines last night after rescuing his mother's neighbors from a house fire in his hometown of Gulfport, Mississippi. After seeing smoke bellowing from their neighbor's house, before firefighters arrived, Armstrong, his mother, and his girlfriend all forced their way into the neighbor's home as all three were able to successfully pull each of their neighbors to safety. So great job there by Tommy and his family. Over to college football today and in bowl season, two bowls final this earlier today as the University of Buffalo eked out a 23-21 win over Georgia Southern in the Camellia Bowl, and Memphis crushed Utah State 38-10 in the Serve Pro First Responder Bowl. In action right now, it's a battle of the Carolinas, as in the second quarter, it's Coastal Carolina and East Carolina playing in a good one in the Birmingham Bowl, and as we speak, Coastal Carolina punches one in to take the lead. They're up 13-10 over, er, over East Carolina in that one. Later tonight, it's Wisconsin taking on Oklahoma State in the Guaranteed Rate Bowl. That'll kick off around 9.15 p.m. In pro sports today, it is a big breaking news retirement. Not so much breaking anymore, but earlier today, former Houston Texan, current Arizona Cardinal, and future Hall of Famer J.J. Watt announced via social media that this would be his final season. Watt, among many other accolades, was a three-time Defensive Player of the Year and will be a shoo-in for Canton. And last night, following a 51-14 loss to the Rams on Sunday, the Broncos fired first-year head coach Nathaniel Hackett after a 4-11 start to the Broncos season. This update is presented by Currency. Currency makes financing quick, easy, and secure for heavy machinery, ag equipment, trucks, trailers, and more. Visit GoCurrency.com for details. That's the ticker. I'm Tim Mulhelm. And hour two of Sports Nightly is next on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. I believe that like, I want to, I want to help guys get better. And so to do that, you have to have players who want that, who want to wake up every day and just work and grind. And so um, that's all really important to me. Uh, if we have the core of our team that's like that, we'll be hard to beat. Side for Walker's get past left side. Bryden Baca Wiltshire puts it up. Got it! Three ball. CJ Wiltshire, another CBA three. That ball was just popping around. Just great movement. Shelly to throw it in baseline left. Into Markowski. Back to Jazz. Three. Butter shoot. Betcha. In the deep left corner. Off the screen assist from Markowski. Walker in the back corner will bring it across the line with a pass to Gary. Gary attacks the rim. Jamble with a right hand. A tomahawk dunk by Gary and the Huskers with a 41 to 24 lead and there is our first interstate bank play of the game. Ford series for Nebraska. Hybe around a Mendelssohn screen. Deep right side Izzy Ford's three. You betcha! That's a Central Valley egg three from Izzy Ford off the assist from Hybe. Stand up Husker fans. This is a great win for Nebraska. They knock off previously undefeated Kansas. Their second win over a top 20 team this year. And the Huskers in three overtimes defeat Kansas 85 to 79 tonight in Lincoln. Here is your host, Greg Sharp, on the Huskers Radio Network. And welcome back. It's hour number two of our only live show of the week. We'll have women's basketball tomorrow night as they take on Michigan. The men will play Iowa Thursday, and we'll have an encore show for you on Friday night. But we're delighted tonight in our second hour to ch sit down and chat with the women's basketball coach for the Cornhuskers, Amy Williams. Welcome. How was your holiday? Yeah, it was great. Thank you. Um, just kind of relaxing. Got to stay home and um, and just spend some downtime with my family. So uh, I couldn't expect for anything more than that this time of year. 
too cold to do anything else, yeah. right? <laughs> yes. Holy moly. <laughs> it was, and both my daughters wanted to kind of stay home and stay in, so that was awesome for me. We got a lot of um, family time, so it was fun. Good. Well, I got to say, I've thoroughly enjoyed your last game before the break. What a fun basketball game and a high-quality basketball game against a really good opponent. Yeah, uh, we knew that obviously um, Kansas was going to be a formidable opponent when we uh, put that on the schedule and then um, didn't maybe quite know exactly how formidable. <laughs> Just, uh, you know, as they uh, opened this season really strong and were undefeated before they came in here and... Um, and, you know, top 25 ranked team, some pro prospects on their roster, a very talented group uh, to come in here and, and play. Uh, what a tough challenge right before the Christmas break, but just was so proud of our team for how far th hard they fought throughout that game. It's two overtime games for you so far this year, and you've won them both. How valuable can that be as we get ready just to jump into total league play from here to the end? Yeah, I mean, I think that's something that we're really going to lean heavy on, and, and I do feel like that the overtime win against Mississippi State down in San Juan really helped us and gave us some confidence in uh, the triple overtime game against Kansas the other day. I mean, I think um, our kids referenced that in some of the huddles that we were in and just that we've been here, we've had close games, uh, we learned from those close games, and that we had confidence that we could get over the hump. So we'll continue to lean on those experiences. That's the reason why you put together those really tough non-conference schedules, is to play teams like that that are going to test you in those types of ways, so it helps prepare you for the stuff that you're going to see when you get into Big Ten play. Do you remember your last triple overtime game or have you coached one uh i do think i have coached one um i don't but think you've done I, it here uh, yeah i'm i'm trying to remember <laughs> i don't think that's my first ever triple overtime game but uh it's been a while i know we had the double overtime game at drake um a couple years back here and um but that was that was just craziness uh, i told the the, the players after the game, I felt like exhausted like I had played, but I think Jess Shelley with um, her 51 minutes probably was rolling her eyes at me. I was just going <laughs> to go there next because she played nearly 50, 50 minutes and 51 seconds, so nine seconds shy, and yet it was in the third overtime that she drilled a couple of huge threes. I mean, to have your legs still there speaks to her conditioning. Yeah, I mean, and she is a special athlete that has worked hard to get herself in the proper conditioning to be able to tolerate that and have confidence down the stretch. And um, so just really, really proud of her. She affected the game in so many ways and really wanted the ball in her hands in those overtimes. And um, that's the mark of a really confident and, and great player. Um, I thought, you know, Izzy Bourne in her first game back after missing a couple weeks with an injury. Um, we didn't plan or expect for her to have to play that many minutes as well, but uh, she also stepped up and hit a huge three um, in that overtime game. Alexis Markowski, when we got down three points, hit a huge three to tie the game back up. Um, you know, so I think just the confidence that our entire roster has to continue to um, lean into work they've put into their conditioning and, and stay strong and be able to knock down those big shots. What did you make of Sam Hybe's performance in that one? Yeah, I mean, I thought she was critical. I thought um, Sam was was really uh, found ways to contribute, and uh, you know, we we know she's always been kind of a, a big time player and, and close out games and knows how to. Uh, she had a really huge pull up jumper, but I thought just you know her ability to get by people off the dribble, create that shot for Izzy in the corner, just distribute, just the presence that she has on the floor. Or our whole team feels more confident when she's out there. And so um, I thought for, um, you know, for her, we, we were planning to really kind of uh, ease her up. She, she had to take a little bit more load than we anticipated in a triple overtime game, but she tolerated that well and, and really contributed. She had to take over some minutes when, when you lose Allison to an injury. What can you tell us on Allison? A lot of concern out there about her. Yeah, right now um, we're just evaluating Allison and um, hope to know more so soon. Very good. Uh, Amy Williams with us for a few minutes here tonight on Sports Sunday. Huskers will play the Michigan Wolverines tomorrow night. Another ranked team at PBA. Should be a terrific game. You have now seen Maggie Mendelson for two games. 
Yeah. What's your early take on her? Yeah, I am so excited about what Maggie brings to the table, and I think she just really rounds out. Our team gives us some good quality depth, some different um, uh, looks just with her, her length and, and bounciness, and, and um, so I thought uh, she's really found ways to contribute in each of the two ball games that she's played in so far, and every day that she's with us, she just gets more and more comfortable with, um, with our offensive skills schemes and defensive schemes and, and what's uh, expected of her and she's just so coachable. She's a great teammate and um, I thought she came in, in in the overtimes and gave us some really valuable minutes which allowed us to um, to give some breaks to Izzy Bourne and, and I thought she um, really contributed, had a really nice soft uh, jump hook and, and um, great, great big bucket and just the confidence to take those shots in just her second game with us. Coach, she had two blocks in that game. She had a handful in, against Wyoming in, in her debut, and she looks like she has great instincts as a shot blocker. Is that, yeah. you, is that fair? Yeah, I think it's very fair. I think um, she she does uh, understand timing, and um, I'm quite sure that, you know, that comes from uh, her experiences as a volleyball sure. player, but um, she, she most definitely um, just has the length. She's got bounciness and she's got great timing and those uh, things equate well to being a great shot blocker and protect her around the rim. Um, I think you know the best thing about her from my standpoint is that uh, she wants to play in a defensive stance and she'll um, be aggressive so it's not just her ability to protect around the rim but I think as we get her more confident with our defensive schemes and where she should be positioning wise um, she can really be a, an all-around defender. How is she fitting in? Because you add somebody like that to the chemistry of a team, and your team had been together without her for a month or so. How's that gone? Yeah, that's just gone amazing, yeah. and that's really just a credit to, to Maggie and really the rest of our team. And um, we were very fortunate to have her in in June to train with our team in the month of June before she left to go to USA Volleyball and before she left to start um, kind of training. But to be honest with you, that um, the connections that she made Made with her teammates and that our teammates really intentionally kind of reached out to embrace her into kind of our family then led to all of this time that she's been playing with the volleyball team, our kids still feel like and felt like, you know, she's she's one of us, and, and they spent time um, investing in her and, and really still connecting with her, and she she rooms with Callan Hake and a couple other volleyball girls in the dorms, and, you know, they just have a strong connection. Um, you know, Maggie was very intentional about finding time to uh, come over and have dinner with her basketball teammates, even during, you know, volleyball season and so uh, she's just an outstanding teammate that understands how to stay connected and so it's not like when she was um, returning to our team that it was a stranger that we were trying to work into the mix this is a young lady that's been very connected to our kids our, our team you know went to all the volleyball games and cheered for all of the Husker volleyball girls but just a little extra hard for their teammate Maggie out there and and um, you know they just have uh, she's She's done an outstanding job, and our team has, of making sure that when she came in, it would be seamless. Very good. Hey, Dorothy Lynch, Homestyle Light and Lean Dressing, Endless Flavorabilities. Talking with Amy Williams, Huskers will play Michigan tomorrow night at Pinnacle Bank Arena. We'll have her for a couple more minutes here. What What's the Christmas break been like? What happened? Did everybody scatter after the Kansas game? Just update us on that. Yes. Um, pretty much, you know, after that Kansas game, we had a lot of families that were able to come into town to be able to watch that game. So most of our um, young women were able to go with their families after the game, maybe uh, head home for just a few days, got to take a little bit of a, uh, a break for a few days and, and uh, enjoy Christmas with families and then got back at it uh, yesterday, the day after Christmas, and, and um, started to prep for our game against Michigan. Let's talk to Wolverines. They're off to a really good start. They, and there's no Naz Hillman anymore. She's off, she's off to a professional career. 
but it seems like they've been able to fill some of the gaps. It's off to a good start. Yeah, they are just off to an outstanding start. And I think um, Emily Kaiser, who's a super senior, has really stepped up to kind of fill in um, in Nas's absence. I think she's she's uh, averaging nearly 20 points a game, just really uh, had a great start to her super senior season. I have a lot of respect for the way that uh, she's playing as an experienced player. And then obviously Leah Brown as a another super senior that really sparks them as just a potent and dangerous scorer and she's uh, been moved to the point guard position um, she's a great passer she really affects the game in a lot of ways from that position because she can score it and um, pass people open but um, Layla Filia a sophomore kid that has just really um, <clears throat> grown a lot I mean we she hurt us in the conference tournament last year at the end of her freshman year and then she's just had incredible growth even since then and so um, and then they're just complemented by such outstanding pieces they can bring in a lot of different um, players that can uh, really hurt you in a lot of different ways Maddie Nolan another um, very experienced senior that hits big shots and so just a incredibly deep and um, balanced roster from top to bottom that can come at you in a lot of ways and they're very aggressive defensively and and um, you know Kim always has them playing um, incredibly tough and aggressive defense and this year is no different. It's quite a quite a stretch you're in. I mean ranked Kansas, ranked Michigan, Sunday's matchup within. I mean this is a this is a stretch. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Uh, yeah, we were having kind of that discussion a little bit. And uh, up to this point, you know, by the time January 1st hits, I think we'll have seen six or seven ranked opponents already at that point. Um, so uh, really um, challenging first half uh, to our season, but something that we feel like will help prepare us for um, the rigors of what we're going to have to expect in Big Ten play and throughout. So. Um, we're, we're excited for those challenges. Yeah, as I was watching the game last week with Kansas, I'm like, this is an NCAA tournament game. That's what it just felt like. It felt yeah. like a, a game you, you would be playing in maybe the Sweet 16 round. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, and Kansas was a team that played in the second round of the NCAA tournament one year ago. And, um, and we were a first round team and um, both both programs, I think, really were unsatisfied with that and wanting more. And, and I think um, Kansas, I know um, in our preparation, I saw that, you know, their players had mentioned, you know, wanting to host and, and be able to do what they could do to position themselves seating wise to advance further in the tournament. And, and we felt the same way. And so I think that was two teams just really hungry to try to um, advance their status and, and put themselves in a good position. So um, certainly it, it felt it had the feelings of an NCAA tournament caliber game. It's a good resume builder, too, for you. Yeah. We had a text you. question for you last week, and I don't know if Matt got to it or not. It was about how do you feel about how your staff has come together? Because you had some additions to your staff during the offseason. How's yeah. that been? Yeah, I've been so excited about the additions that we've been able to have with the staff. And um, Jessica Keller, uh, our newest assistant coach, um, has just fit in seamlessly. She's sure. a great uh, teammate. And I always say all along that uh, my coaching staff and the tightness and close knit and the way we get along with each other and um, just complement each each other very well um, that trickles down into the locker room and your team and um, so when you have somebody that is a great team player that wants to come in and um, fit in she's just um, an outstanding player development coach and she's worked hard to be able to um, to develop and establish quick relationships with our team so that they know they can uh, trust her and lean into her and and she's just a great teacher um, great uh, scout great um, you know recruiter so we're very excited about that addition. We've added um, a graduate assistant, um, and she is a absolute rock star. We're so, so lucky to have Jace on staff. She is um, going to be just a, a rising star in this coaching profession. And so um, some really good additions to the coaching staff that I'm very excited about and I think have complimented us well. Fantastic. And they all volunteered you to host a team dinner tonight, right? Yes. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we'll be uh, we'll be hosting the team dinner. Nothing nothing like a little crazy. Very so. good. Well, we appreciate you carving out some time for us. Yeah. Good luck tomorrow. This should be a fun fun game.
game against the Wolverines. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Thank you. Amy Williams with us here on Sports Night. Hey, our hotline brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com. Anytime, 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned. You can always find what you are looking for with Woodhouse. When we come back, Terrence Knighton, the new defensive line coach for Matt Rural. He will join us next. A DUI is everything you didn't prepare for. You did not save for it. You did not train for it. You did not go to school for it. You did not raise your family or buy a house or get a job for it. It is not your life goal or a dream come true. You have planned for everything in your life. You did not plan for a DUI. Get a ride. A DUI costs more than you think. Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. It's time for another round of Nebraska Farm Facts. If there's one thing Nebraska's known for, it's our beef. And Nebraska soybeans feed a lot of them, and even more pigs and chickens. Farmers and ranchers raise livestock and poultry to provide nutritious, affordable protein for all ages to help build muscle and maintain energy for a healthy lifestyle. Keep that in mind as you prepare all that tasty meat on your tailgate grill. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. It's the Ford Shine Bright sales event, and Ford is helping you be a light for others this holiday season. Right now, get special offers on select Ford trucks and SUVs. Come in and choose a vehicle in stock, or simply place a custom order, lock in your rate, and you're protected. Hurry in to your local Ford dealer today and find the Ford vehicle that helps you shine bright all season long. Not all models, trims, or features may be available or may be subject to change. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exist to be there with you. They are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. That's why Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska is proud to sponsor Touchdowns for Teachers and ask Husker fans to nominate outstanding educators who help Nebraska students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash touchdowns for teachers. It's harvest special time, and you can save $3 per foot or $3,900 per quarter mile system now on a TNL pivot system. Pivots worked long hours this season battling dry weather to save top dollar corn and soybean crops. But did your pivots work like no other? If not, it's time to invest in a reliable, safe, low maintenance TNL irrigation system. Hydrostatic drives move these durable workhorses continuously across fields. So get an irrigation system that works as hard as you do. Contact TNL Irrigation, your local TNL dealer, or visit us online at TLIRR.com. TNL Irrigation Systems like no other. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Touchdown, Nebraska! If you're doing business in Nebraska, the best way to connect your organization with the excitement surrounding the Huskers is through a partnership with Nebraska Athletics. You can take your business to the next level by reaching loyal Husker fans through in-venue signage, digital and social media, radio advertising, and more. Got it! Join the Husker team today and email partners at huskers.com to learn more about opportunities to connect with Husker Nation. That's partners at huskers.com. The name on the mailbox may say Smith, Myers, Baumgartner, or Johnson, but when you choose to plant with Rob Seco, it includes your name too, making you a stockholder in a company that's invested in you. With the simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, relationships that bring more to the table, the technology, traits, and genetics that take on local conditions, and people with the know-how to use it. And Rob Seco, the only stockholder we listen to, is you. Families who travel to Nebraska's only Ronald McDonald House are facing extremely uncomfortable situations. Their child is sick in an unfamiliar city, unsure of how to handle it all. But when they walk in the Ronald McDonald House, they can find comfort in the little things. A quiet moment away from the bombardment of beeps and buzzes in a hospital room. The taste of a home-cooked meal. A calming voice saying it'll be okay. Help us provide the little things that make a big difference. Support a one-night stay for a family in need by visiting rmhcomaha.org slash huskers. Does your business need quick, competitive financing for heavy machinery, trucks, or other equipment? Currency is here to help. Whether you're financing construction equipment, farm equipment, trucks, trailers, or any other big ticket item, Currency will automatically find the best rates. Currency facilitates loans for up to $500,000 with repayment terms up to 72 months. It's fast, easy, and free to use. Visit GoCurrency.com and apply today. 
More Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic care first. Studies show that chiropractic is safe, drug-free, and the most effective treatment option for back, neck, and joint pain. It can also help patients of all ages reduce migraines, improve mobility, and maximize athletic performance. Keep the entire family healthy and active with natural, cost-effective chiropractic care. Find a chiropractic physician near you at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Can you name one thing that's more exciting than football in Nebraska? <laughs> okay, maybe not, but there's something that comes close. Scratch tickets from the Nebraska Lottery. That's right. Choose from a variety of play styles with huge top prizes. There's something fun for everyone. So, when football isn't on, pick up some scratch tickets from the Nebraska Lottery. Play is good. Go play. Odds vary by game. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center. It's sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more acres solutions for every field tonight what a treat for us to have terrence knight and the huskers new defensive line coach with us here on the program welcome to nebraska welcome to lincoln i'm happy to be here i'm happy to be here go big red why did this make sense for you to join this staff first and foremost coach rule you know is a great person um a great father figure in my life a guy that i met at a young age you know has inspired me in a lot of ways that he doesn't know um, looked up to him my whole career, um, and I'm excited to work with him. Um, he's the, the guy that kind of got my feet wet, you know, uh, as far as his coaching thing, and I'm just excited to work with him and excited to, you know, uh, run the D-line. So he was your position coach at Temple. Yes. And you stayed in touch. Stayed in touch. My sophomore year, he was my D-line coach. Then he moved over to the offense, and I kind of knew. I thought, okay, maybe he wants to be a head coach one day. So he moved over to the offense, and we've been in touch since then. And um, it's just a guy who I remember vividly when I was running my 40 on my pro day. Um, after I ran my 40, I looked up, and he gave me like a Kobe fist pump, and and it was just a moment I'll never forget, and a guy I've, I've always trusted since then. You had a heck of a career. Congratulations on your career in the NFL. Thank you, thank you. A long eight years, and my body feels it every day. But um, the energy I get from college football and coaching and impacting these young men, you know, it's, it's worth it. How much, how much did you learn about football at that level that now can help you at coaching at this level? You can, you can relate to the players more. You can relate to them. You know what they're going through. Um, and just from a football aspect, you know, uh, certain blocks and certain ways you take on blocks and certain things they see during the game, you know, it comes to me naturally. And, um, you know, I think one unique thing I do well is I can see the game in different ways and, you know, I can coach different guys in different playing styles. So I'm excited about that and, um, you know, just ready to get this front back to where it's been. How much, if any time, have you spent around some of the current players on the team, or have you seen much tape on guys? Well, when I first got here, I was able to meet with a lot of the guys, uh, watched a lot of tape on them, um, you know, text a few guys here and there. Um, obviously, right now, it's just a lot going on recruiting and stuff, but um, I've made sure I talk to those guys and let them know that, you know, football is coming soon and stay ready, and it's just a lot going on right now, but um, we expect them to be ready to go. Terrence, how much has the, the game changed from your playing days with the portal, with name, image, likeness? I mean, that's, this is all new stuff, isn't it? It's all new stuff, but you know what? I mean, college football makes a lot of money. It makes a lot of money. You know, football is king, and uh, these kids bring a lot of money to the school. So, um, you know, I guess they found a way to help the kids out. These kids come from different places, different backgrounds, and... Um, you know, whatever whatever it is to help the kids, I'm all aboard for, you know. And uh, I don't really get too much into that. I'm just a football guy. But, um, you know, we just expect guys, no matter how much money they're getting or where they come from, if, you know, if they got that end on their helmet, then there's a certain standard that we'll have that we expect them to play with. Do you kind of feel like you're going to have to constantly be recruiting the guys on your own team just to make sure they're not hearing from some other school to go, it's going to be better if you leave? Well, for us, it'll be more than football anyway. So we'll be tapped into these guys' personal lives, know what's going on with them in the classroom, um, at home, and um, it's going to be a family environment. 
So um, we'll never have to worry about if a guy not getting too much attention, if he's not happy. We'll know throughout the process and, you know, how diligent we are with our players. Um, nothing will come as a surprise. When you were out on the road in December, how, how much power is still in the brand of the inn? Is it, did, is it's it still, still there. Doors? It's still there, whether I was in Texas, whether I was in North Carolina, whether I was in California. You hear Go Big Red everywhere. You hear it everywhere. And, um, you know, we're just excited here. There's just a lot going on, um, a lot of excitement around the team right now. Whenever it's something new, there's always excitement. And um, we're just ready to work and, and, and prove our worth. And, you know, hopefully we put a great brand out there on the field for everyone to be proud of. Excited to be in the Big Ten? Excited. Excited. And um, growing up, you know, seeing that end on the helmet always meant something to me. Um, the, the national championships, the great players, the Heismans, the black shirts, all that. You know, I remember that growing up. So um, I'm excited to be a part of it, excited to compete against the best. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, that's what we want to do. We want to win the Big Ten, and we're going to do everything we can to do that. Be a few weeks before the players kind of get back on campus. Excited to kind of get to know them better and kind of start establishing those relationships? Yeah, yeah. I mean, recruiting's fun, but, you know, you always want to get back to the football. But um, I'm excited to get around the team, be able to meet with the guys, you know, get in the groove, get to know them more. Um, and also keep recruiting, you know, building the future as well. So um, I'm excited about the whole process. How about the staff? I mean, you, you know a couple guys, Gavin Cooper and you were roommates at Temple. Yep, yep. But Coach White's a guy that you maybe haven't spent a lot of time around. How about get, getting to know each other on the staff? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we have a great we have a great group of personalities. So we all we all blend in together well. Um, once he got here, you know, I embraced him. He embraced me. He's met my fiance. Uh, but at the end of the day, we all want the same thing, so it's easy for us to mesh and, um, you know, getting ready to talk some football with him and, you know, learn his philosophies and what he liked to do up front and, and uh, just excited about it. A lot of coaches in the past, Terrence, have said if it's sometimes hard to get kids to visit, but when they do, they don't want to leave. Was that your experience in the couple of the weekends that you had in December when you brought people on campus, showed them? the stadium, showed them the trophies, all those type of things. I, I think for us, um, I think what's unique about our staff is, is that you can feel the energy when you talk to us on the phone. You can feel the energy when you talk to anyone, like in the recruiting area. And um, we're just bringing back that excitement, you know, uh, to the football department and just making sure that people feel comfortable with us. And then getting them to Nebraska is the easy part because once they get here, they realize, okay, this is a football city. Um, I'm going to get great support here on and off the field. There's a lot of excitement with the fans. Um, the fan base is second to none. And uh, I think just the excitement around it and the energy that they get from the staff, I think it's an easy sell. Great to have you here. Welcome to town. I know people are so excited to see you guys. You're going to be amazed that spring games will be almost sold out. Of I can't wait. Looking forward to it. Darren Knight with us here on Sports Now, Buckle up. Put that phone down. It's a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. More of the show coming up. Shop Woodhouse Buick GMC first for your next SUV and experience the difference. We offer a full lineup of SUVs so you can find the one that best suits you and your lifestyle. The GMC Terrain and Acadia offer the perfect blend of tech and safety on the road. Or discover the style, comfort, and cargo space of the Buick Enclave. Plus, we make it easy to shop, finance, and purchase in-store or online at WoodhouseBuickGMC.com. We are professional grade. They say consistency is the key to success. They weren't wrong. So how about grabbing a beer that's consistently smooth, consistently refreshing, and consistently light? You might just find that the road to success can be pretty enjoyable. Michelob Ultra, the perfect balance of taste and refreshment and only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. I'm University of Nebraska Lincoln student Hanna Pham with Campus News. Students from Nebraska's Johnny Carson Center for Emerging Media Arts helped create visual effects for the Star Wars TV series Obi Wan Kenobi. This opportunity came from a three month internship with Lola VFX, a visual effects firm in Los Angeles. This internship transitioned to employment, with Huskers also creating effects for the superhero movie Thor Love and Thunder. Greatness doesn't happen overnight. It takes time, focus, and 
dedication. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that because we put in the hard work and dedication for decades. And that commitment has paid off with award-winning customer service for your auto, home, and life insurance. Visit shelterinsurance.com and find an agent to help you choose the coverage you need. Shelter Insurance. We're your shield. We are your shelter. It's time again for some Nebraska farm facts. For Nebraska soybean farmers, sustainability is a way of life. 97% of farms are family-owned, and 95% are participating in conservation programs and using sustainable practices. And they have significant sustainability goals by 2025. 10% more energy efficiency, 10% less land, and 25% less soil erosion. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers. Growing opportunity from the ground up. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Dear gas prices, go take a hike. Toyota is the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. The Toyota hybrid lineup brings efficiency with power, savings with style, and top-notch tech to keep you connected. Not to mention plush premium interiors and the most advanced Toyota safety features. So, now you know who you're talking to. Toyota, the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. Toyota, the brand with a hybrid or electric vehicle for every driver. Toyota, the brand that helps save you money at the pump. Now, let me ask you a question, dear gas prices. You really think you can stand in the way of the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years? <laughs> think again. Toyota Hybrids. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Based on manufacturer estimates, see why 2000 through 2021 sales. As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he is so cold. The furnace is out again. SOS, he screams, and calls SOS Heating and Cooling, his favorite Luxair dealer trusted since 1950. With Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. SOS Heating and Cooling. SOS to the rescue. SOS. Beardmore Subaru celebrates Nebraska volleyball again this season. Five national championships, 47 All-Americans, and a home sellout streak dating back to 2001. The longest streak for any women's sport in NCAA history. Beardmore Subaru has been a proud supporter of Husker volleyball for more than 10 years. Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue has the new Subaru Outback Wilderness. Loaded with off-road ready upgrades and the new Solterra, Subaru's first ever all-electric and all-wheel drive vehicle. Go Big Red. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp back with you. We've got about uh, 15 minutes left in the program. If you want to be a part of things, 402-413-2400. Hope you enjoyed my sit-down chats with Amy Williams. Uh, again, they play Michi Michigan tomorrow night at PBA 6 o'clock. Tip, 545 pregame coverage with Matt Cody, Jeff Grish. And then, uh, Terrence Knighton. What a, what a fun guy to talk to. I remember watching him play in the National Football League. Uh, Denver finished up with the Patriots. Uh, said he grew up a Patriots fan growing up back on the East Coast. But uh, really fun to listen and hear uh, from him. Uh, Mark on our text line said, Allison Widener status. Well, as Coach Williams said, still going through the evaluation process. 
And that's all she would really say about it. So I would say stay tuned. Uh, I know a lot of them after that Kansas game left to get out of town. I'm sure Allison left to get out to Humphrey and hang out in that part of the state of Nebraska, but uh, still trying to evaluate that. So she just did not uh, did not tip her hand at all on, uh, on what may be up with Allison Wider. Fingers crossed. So again, tomorrow night, Michigan, the next up on the docket. Hour number one, we told you a terrific story about Malik Collins, former Husker, art in Los Angeles, really liked hearing that, how he found out a young family that was in an adopt-a-family program for Christmas. The young boy, not young, he's a teenager, big NFL fan, wanted Christmas cards from several NFL franchises. The, then he said that the Texans were his favorite team, even though he lived in California. Malik caught wind of that, decided to fly the young man and his mom to Houston to go to a game, put him up for a night at a hotel, played the, paid their plane tickets, great stuff right there. Tim t told you the other one I was going to get into tonight, the ticker, and that's about Tommy Armstrong. Tommy, the recently quarterback for the Cornhuskers, played for Bo, played for Mike Riley, um, was down visiting his mom in Gulfport, Mississippi, um, sitting in his mom's house, Nadine, his wife, Jalen, former soccer player here at Nebraska. And, and all of a sudden they look across the street and their neighbor's house is on fire. And so they race over there. Um, Tommy goes into the house that's on fire and starts getting people that are in the house out of the house. I mean, you talk about heroic, uh, pretty cool stuff. And Tommy jumps right into that burning building. His mom's right there helping people get, uh, helping him get a couple people out through the window. Uh, everybody was fine. Everybody was safe. Uh, what an amazing story. So kudos, another, another Husker to be proud of. And man, uh, Tommy was so gutsy. You know, and I know people got kind of were kind of ready for Tommy's career to be over. He started for four years in Nebraska, just played his tail off every week. I remember the pickle game of Oregon. He's cramping up. He's drinking pickle juice. He had the breakaway run to seal the victory over the Ducks on a hot, steamy day in Lincoln, Nebraska. Just really willed that team to that victory over the Ducks that day. Uh, Tough character and a stand-up guy. I miss seeing Tommy. Tommy's still around the Lincoln area quite a bit, so I miss seeing him. But what an amazing story, right? Incredible. I mean, those are just two amazing examples of guys, former Huskers, doing the right thing. And I, you know, I, I just I'm thinking about Dennis LeBlanc on academics, Keith Zimmer on life skills, just kind of smiling and nodding in approval. When they hear stories about guys that they had an influence on, that they did the right thing when the, it was time for them to step up, completely different kind of circumstances, obviously, with Malik and Tommy, but pretty cool stuff uh, right there. Nebraska 811 says, go dig red. Before you dig, always call or click 811 to have your utility lines marked. It's free. It's easy. It's the law. J.J. Watt. I, I know J.J.'s not with the Texans anymore. But that's kind of what I remember. J.J. Watt playing for Houston. He's with Arizona now, announcing today that he's going to retire. This is going to be his last NFL season. And amazing player, Hall of Famer, had all those sacks in his career. At one time was the most dominant defensive lineman playing the game. He along with probably another one of our guys and Dominican Sue. But when I think of J.J. Watt, yeah, I think of the, I think of the great play on the field. But I remember what he did when, when the city of Houston got hit so hard by that hurricane. Hurricane Harvey hit that town, flooded that town. And J.J. Watt is out there raising money, helping people in the community, and doing those type of things. And I don't know whether it's just because I'm in the Christmas spirit of all these things are coming up at once. But when I heard about J.J. today, I didn't think about the football part. I thought about what he did for that community of Houston and helping that, that town heal from a major disaster that took place down there. Uh, man of the year kind of guy. Uh, just, I mean, I, again, I, most people are going to think about putting him along with Reggie White and Bruce Smith, some of those great defensive linemen, were all the tackles that he made. But I, I just remember that he, I'm looking it up, he raised $6.7 million after that hurricane hit. And I remember, I remember he, he, his goal was to raise 100 grand. And he goes out and raises $6.7 million. And 
some of these athletes push back when you talk about them being role models. They don't like that mantra. They don't want that pressure being put on them. But, and they are. People look up to them. And when you got a guy like J.J. Watt and that foundation uh, that he raised all that money for that hurricane that just whacked that uh, town. His foundation raised 6.7. The, the hurricane fund raised over $37 million. This tells you what the impact that J.J. Watt had in that Houston community. Again, I know he's retiring as a Cardinal out in Arizona, but I'll always remember him as a Houston Texan, which is where Malik is. See how it all kind of ties together, folks? Interesting stuff. All right, uh, 402-413-2400. We need to work a break in. Back to our wrap-up tonight's show. Next. At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset, day by day. Donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker Athletics excel at the highest level. Go big and join thousands of other Huskers Athletic Fund members with your gift today at huskers.com slash donate. While some seed companies put a greater stake in stock prices and anonymous shareholders, Rob Seco knows that what's important to you hits closer to home. That's why you'll find we're focused on your needs. With a simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, a relationship that makes it easy to connect with anyone in the company, and the technology, traits, and genetics you need from any source. Put your stock in the company that puts you first. Rob Seco. At top board, high lob underneath for Mendelssohn, catches it, and she scores off the assist for Izzy Moore. I'll tell you what, she is making immediate impact for the Big Red at both ends. Four points for the freshman from Utah, Maggie Mendelson. Hey, Huskers fans, tomorrow, join us for Nebraska women's basketball as the Huskers host the Michigan Wolverines at the PBA. Matt Cotney and Jeff Grish have the call at 5.45 p.m. Tune into your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. It's the Ford Shine Bright sales event, and Ford is helping you be a light for others this holiday season. Right now, get special offers on select Ford trucks and SUVs. Come in and choose a vehicle in stock, or simply place a custom order, lock in your rate, and you're protected. Hurry in to your local Ford dealer today and find the Ford vehicle that helps you shine bright all season long. Not all models, trims, or features may be available or may be subject to change. It's harvest special time, and you can save $3 per foot or $3,900 per quarter mile system now on a TNL pivot system. Pivots worked long hours this season battling dry weather to save top dollar corn and soybean crops. But did your pivots work like no other? If not, it's time to invest in a reliable, safe, low maintenance TNL irrigation system. Hydrostatic drives move these durable workhorses continuously across fields. So get an irrigation system that works as hard as you do. Contact TNL Irrigation, your local TNL dealer, or visit us online at TLIRR.com. TNL Irrigation Systems like no other. Our Sports Sunday Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime. 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned. You can always find what you are looking for with Woodhouse. 402-413-2400. The number to dial us up with a comment or question. Let's go to the phones up to Omaha. And Mike, good evening, Mike. Welcome to the show. Hey, uh, full disclosure, my two favorite Husker women's basketball players in recent years uh, Allison Weiner and Leah Brown. <laughs> so, uh, it's been about a week. Isn't it a little surprising? We haven't heard any word on the Weiner test. Well, I asked the coach just a half hour ago, and she just said, still yeah, going her. through testing. My guess is they know. My guess is they don't want Michigan to know. Be, 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 like, would think, be my guess, Mike. <laughs> yeah, I would think of that, too, that there's some uh, games and shit there. Uh, I, mean, I think she's got superstar written, written all over. It's kind of a legendary high school high school athlete, but Leah Brown, tell me this, you, you've seen a lot of teams. How often does your best, I thought she was our best player. How often does your best player transfer? First of all, your best player usually doesn't transfer, and then they transfer to a team within the conference. Has that ever happened before at Nebraska or anywhere else? Uh, it does happen within the conference. You've got Michigan's quarterbacks going to Iowa this year. You had those two wide receivers at Purdue this year were both from Iowa, went to Purdue. So, yeah, it does happen. Leah Brown was interesting to me, Mike, and um, – 
I don't know that she started much here. She seemed like she always was coming off the bench, and I don't know if that, that – maybe that was the reason she decided to leave. I don't know, but I was puzzled why she never started more when she was here in Lincoln. Yeah. But those other transfers you mentioned, they weren't the best player on the team. And I think – remember, she had a few games where she scored over 30 points, but she could literally play any – I mean, she's playing point guard. She's not why, a point guard, but she's probably better than the other. Why do you think she it. didn't start? That's a good question. I think maybe originally they didn't like her defense. Uh, and she did play minutes. Remember they had the alley-oop play, uh, plays for her? She could jump. I mean, she's a tremendous – last year she wasn't healthy. And her and Mouse Hillman were an awesome account. I'm a big fan of hers, obviously. But she's an All-American if she's healthy. I mean, she destroyed the top ten North Carolina. I mean, yeah. she's fantastic. Should be a heck of a game tomorrow. Mike, appreciate it. Happy New Year to you. Thanks for calling in tonight. Yeah, Leah Brown was a tremendous player. Just uh, – and again, I maybe – Coach Williams liked having her come off the bench, instant offense off the bench, that type of thing. But, yeah, that hurt when she left. And then to go in conference as well. But it does happen probably more than you think. And, I mean, you think about Charlie Jones, all-conference wide receiver for Purdue this year, hardly caught any passes at Iowa. He was really good as a kick returner for the Hawkeyes and goes to Purdue and becomes all-conference at the wide receiver spot for the Boilermakers. So it does happen. I don't like it. I don't like that when that happens. Guys transfer within the conference. I wish you could kind of – Stop that from taking place, but uh, it, uh, it does happen. Uh, Roger said, loved hearing Coach Williams' interview. Really like the chemistry of this 22-23 team. I, I agree, and that was one of the questions that I asked Coach Williams was, how, how has the chemistry been when you added Maggie Mendelson into the mix? Because, you know, that team had played 9-10 games before she arrived, and she said it's been great. And the fact that she got to work out with them some in the summer – uh, and then she rooms with a couple of players on the women's basketball team has been helpful uh, to that chemistry issue as well uh, for the team. Chris and Grant on, on our text line said, with J.J. Watt retire from the league, I would like to see the Texans retire his number for all that he did for the city of Houston. Chris, absolutely. Fantastic. I agree. I think, you know, what J.J. Watt's done, and I'm sure, you know, he's probably going to be recognized in the Hall of Fame as a Texan because that's where he built most of his resume with that franchise but again what he did after hurricane harvey hit that area and hit it hard uh will never be forgotten i don't think by the people in the city of houston so i'm sure they'll do a lot for jj after he hangs it up here in a couple weeks cardinals aren't going to the playoffs so i'm sure he's going to hang it up there i wanted to touch real quickly on nathan hackett got fired today with the broncos i i don't know i didn't i don't study the broncos all that much I think maybe he lost a team. He kind of hinted that maybe he lost a team um, down the stretch. Said they didn't, they didn't, weren't prepared to play well against the Rams on Christmas Day, and they got blitzed. But man, what a tough hand he got handed. They got decimated. The Broncos got decimated. And we have a lot of Bronco fans listening to the Sports Night. I live out in the Panhandle, and that you're closer to Denver than you are Lincoln. But they got decimated by injuries in spring in in camp training camp. And then Russell Wilson's been a bust. I mean, that's, that's out of the coach's control. I mean, they go, they go give away the farm to get Russell Wilson, and he's been terrible. Now, is that coaching, or was that on the fact that Russell Wilson just didn't play well this year? And, and Hackett's the fall guy. I, go, I, know, I know the buck stops at the head coach, coach's desk, but, man, a tough hand for Nathan Hackett. I think he's a pretty good guy, a pretty good football coach. Uh, but, man, he got a tough, tough um, – Tough, tough deal with all the injuries and then his quarterback just face planting. I mean, some of those early losses by the Broncos, those were on the shoulders of his quarterback. Just did not do anything well. So tough day for Nathan Hackett. Not feeling sorry for him. I know they get compensated. Coaches know that when they get hired, probably going to get fired. But a uh, tough, tough deal there for him. Also, crypto in our text room wants to know if the Huskers women win the next two games. Are they ranked? I think so. Got to be, right? Thanks, everybody, for being a part of this one tonight. Thanks to Tim for piecing this thing together. Last show of 2022. Happy New Year to everybody. Jessica's back here next week. Enjoy the rest of your night. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. They say consistency is the key to success. They weren't wrong. So how about grabbing a beer that's consistently smooth, consistently refreshing, and consistently light? You might just find that the road to success can be pretty enjoyable. Michelob Ultra, the perfect balance of taste and refreshment and only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it.
Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he is so cold. The furnace is out again. SOS, he screams, and calls SOS Heating and Cooling, his favorite Luxair dealer trusted since 1950. With Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. SOS Heating and Cooling. SOS to the rescue. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall and Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community.